Only gonna be eating theme park food. Are you sure about this? Oh, yes. Look at the size of it! Bad news, guys. Everyone else joining. Get the whole theme park Yay! in, why not? What's happening, free game? We are coming to you live. But not live. From here in Alton Towers in the CBB's Land Hotel. Yeah, as you guys know, we came here a few days ago and we especially wanted to stay here for Astrid because she's never stayed here before. As part of our first family holiday of 2024. And yes, we're having a great time. We've been out into the theme park and had lots of fun on some rides. We've been really enjoying the evening entertainment and Bob even got up on stage and had a dance off with another woman and won the competition. Yes, but we're not going to be showing you that. Yes, we are. No. Now we know you guys love a good food video and so today we are only going to be eating theme park food for 24 hours. And that starts with a nice theme park breakfast at a nice theme park hotel where you can eat as much as you want. So we went down this morning, not to the restaurant in this hotel because we prefer the restaurant in the other Alton Towers hotel. So we went down there this morning and had a massive breakfast. So they've got bre breakfast laid out in lots of different areas. So they've got a, like a fruit and yogurt section. They normally have watermelon here, but the, today they've got grapefruit and pineapple and berries. There's pastries, croissants, and even little muffins as well. And you're filling up on some fruit straight away. Good start, I like it. I don't know how it is. And this is all the cooked food area, which is what we tend to fill up on last. Maybe not all of us. There's a juice station and water they have pancakes and syrup and things to go on and then you've got a couple of toasters here and lots and lots of bread and lots of different spreads as well and also lots and lots of different cereals with lots of different milks available as well so you know you've got lots of different options here and then of course hot drink machines you can have tea coffee all sorts so you've got loads of things to start off your day so jojo's filling up with a bowl of pineapple we've got really nice seating area here haven't we looking out onto the gardens and the lake yeah. so you've started off something different for breakfast haven't you yeah berry cereal and milk you're very very cheeky aren't you mm. mil mil's got some nice pineapple brother and sister going for the same thing and grandchild chalky cereal so they do loads of great vegan options here. You've got three different types of vegan milk and we've all got a nice cup of tea. But you can also request some vegan sausages. This plate's hot, ouch. <laughs> it's like, I'll hold it because I've got, I've got asbestos hands. Yeah, they're not all for Bob though, they're all to share. Yes, this is for the table, yeah, for when have, we have our cooked meal. Yeah, you just have to request them. So you've gone in for the cooked breakfast. Yep. Beans right on top. What things we've got in there? We've got hash browns. Yes. He's eaten the tomatoes already. The tomatoes have been eaten, eh? Yeah. Hash browns, lots of mushrooms. Mm. Interesting pile up there, Jojo. Yeah. And then you've taken a couple of the sausages. You're kind of like on a third course already, aren't you? Yeah. Grabbing some toast, Katie. Oh, it's for Astrid. She can actually make butter and put jam on her own toast. So I just give her that and she does it all herself. It takes about three hours though. Yeah, it takes a while, but she does it herself. Thank you. Ooh, what you got there? And of course two. Weetabix and berries. Milk. Nice. You've moved on the cook meal course, haven't you? Yeah. It's With a twist. They have run out of hash browns up there, so I had to ask for some more. What? I'm not happy, I want my hash brown. I've asked for some more. Good. 
But you've got some toast as well. Some yeah. Jam. Inspired jam and toast. by Astrid. Yes. The only difference is I didn't do it myself. I wasn't able to do it myself. Astrid had to spread it for me. Yeah. Otherwise you get it all over the place, didn't you? Yeah. Totally. Oh, Astrid, you've done so well. Hash browns are back. The hash browns are back. I'm not that I've just got my third course now, okay. including toast. And I've got my hash browns to go with my bread. On a separate plate. <laughs> the plates aren't big enough. It's great that you have all these options because we always fill up very well, don't we? Yeah, you can just eat as much as you want. Because everyone knows there's a danger. When you're going to a theme park, you sometimes just always end up hungry straight away. How is your breakfast? I'm very good. I took some to go. Yeah. To go, to go pineapple. Mm. Woo. Woo. So back at the room now as we're just getting ready to head into the theme park where we're going to have a day of fun and food. So we stepped into the theme park now guys. Obviously we've all just recently eaten breakfast. So we're all quite full up. So we're looking to have a good walk around, go on some rides, have some fun before we get stuck into our next food. So not only are we going to only eat theme park food today, but we're going to show you all of the different places they have here that offer food and all the different varieties of food you can get here if you are ever coming for a day visit or a holiday. We've been coming here for 15 years and we've seen how it's changed over the years with how many more options they get. So if you've got a dietary requirement, you're gluten free, vegan or any allergies, there's a lot of options here, a lot better than they used to be. For example, over the back here, they've got a hot dog stand where they do hot dogs, chips, cold drinks, hot drinks as well. And they even do a vegan hot dog. So you have that as an option as well. And just here, they've got donuts as well. But we're not quite hungry yet for hot dogs or donuts. So we're not going to get stuck into that just yet. Even though we're quite full up, they do have a coffee place here. I might actually get a coffee from. I have to see what other things they do here as well. So they've got a lot of what is considered grab and go food, drinks, snacks, different sandwiches and baguettes. They have a gluten free sandwich here and a vegan falafel sweet potato wrap. So yeah, every place seems to have at least one option. And they of course do lots of hot drinks there as well, tea and coffee. And also lots of donuts, ones that look very, very big. They almost look like donut cakes. So if you've got a sweet tooth, that'll be a good place to go. And they've got a lot of different mobile stands like this selling different foods. This is chocolates and waffles. Again, good for those of you that have a sweet tooth. I think what you can do is just get various fruits and have them dipped in chocolates and get a pot of those. It's a pretty nice treat. You guys are going on the Wicker Man, yeah? Yes, this one. And I'm going to hang back with the baby. And then afterwards we'll get a mid-morning snack. How was your ride? I'm lucky I wore this because it rained on the ride and it was very painful. Alton Towers is very well known for wet, cold weather like today. Alton Towers has its own weather climate. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Right, should we have some snacky time? Yes, yeah. snackage. So we for, got for a mid-morning snack, we've got popcorn. This is for all of us though to share, not just you. Yes. You can't... Katie's going to test it of course though. <laughs> yeah, you can't come to a theme park and not have popcorn. Really? It's true. You can't come to a theme park and not open popcorn. <laughs> We've resorted to pen popping. That's it, you've done it. Please don't draw on the popcorn. How does it taste? We're going again. There's a little hand coming in. Little hand? Some. That's alright. That's alright? Let's try some of that. Mm. It's good, isn't it? Mm. I get a feeling that between all of us this will go very quickly. We're just here in the Dougie Park. It's like a play park for kids. In CBeebies land. Yeah, we have to do this because we've got to make Astrid happy. She really wants to come here. And we just met Dougie. Yeah, smashing chap. <laughs> However, I'll tell you what, that popcorn's activated something in me. I've got into theme park eating mood again. My appetite's coming back. Oh, is it I'm going to need something big. 
Okay, we have come to lunchtime. This stall here we found, which has intrigued us, because it's waffles, hot dogs, and nachos. Very interesting combo. So we're going to go for a hot dog and nachos, right? Yeah. And we're going to share it amongst all of us. Just want to be included. Some random dudes just joined in. What's your name? Uh, tough. Tough. Nice. Tough and hot. Everyone else is yeah. joining. Everyone else joining. Get the whole theme park in. Why not? Now that's all done. We're going to get. <laughs> we're going to order some food. <laughs> so we've got our nachos. And hot dog. Hot dog's packed away, but you'll get to see the, how good it looks in a moment. We're gonna go find Jamie now, and we're gonna go and share everything out. These especially look delicious, look at those. I know, it's got like a bean chilli on top, right? Yeah. Katie's not wasting any time until we get back to Jamie. She's getting straight into the nachos. You love nachos, you're one of those people that's a real sucker for them, and Jojo's going in as well. This feels like a food commentary event. This is a typical theme park food as well. You've got jalapenos on there Katie you're gonna be sweating a lot have you started sweating just looking at it yeah <laughs> what are we saying they're good they're good. good have you both just avoided the jalapenos big shout out to all the lovely youngsters that have been coming over to us yeah. today really lovely bunch of young adults they were very happy to come over weren't yeah. they <laughs> they wanted us to shout out all of their names but I said that will take too long <laughs> shout out all of your names in. I swear you guys have just avoided the jalapenos. Mm. Are, they, are they spicy? I'll let you know in a minute. Here we go. Look how big that is. It's a solid sausage. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Never has anyone ever spoke about sausages so seriously. Okay, we're going on this with Astrid. Yeah. <laughs> Jojo wanted to get in on the hot dog fun. This is the other hot dog place though. So. I'm just going for it one handed, no messing about. Is that any good? Can I try some? Mm. This is a giant donut. It is, it's like a giant donut cake. Like, it can't, we can't describe how big it is, but it's like. It's bigger than your head. It's a very and it's, big. It's 20 pounds. It looks nice though. Oh my goodness, is that a giant donut? It is. It is. Oh my goodness. And that's a mega one. Look at that. Yeah. It's got like cakes on top of it as well. I was doing it. We're doing it. We're buying the big donut. You're a big donut. Are you sure about this? Yes. Bob's gone to get, get a cup of tea and you guys are going on that. Where is it? That thing. Good luck guys. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> I got myself a latte as oh, well. Got a latte. It's quite cold and I forgot to bring a coat. But look at this. Oh <laughs> my goodness. I feel like it's grown since I bought it. It's bigger than your head, Bob. Look, put that no. next to your head. It is, that isn't is it? bigger than your head. Shouldn't that be a rule? You should never eat anything bigger than your own head. That should be a rule. So those guys have gone on onto some other rides. Just outside one of their rides, Oblivion, there's this fast food joint and they do a vegan chicken fillet burger here as well which I've got as a meal with some chips. I'm going to give the chips to Astrid because I'm looking after her at the moment. I'm really looking forward to trying this burger because I wasn't aware they had something like this. Check it out guys, it's pretty decent. It's got mayo in there, lettuce. It's good. Mm. Astrid's enjoying her chips as well. Right, where are we going now? We're going on this ride, which is 13. So you're going on Rita? With me. With you? Okay. <laughs> this is a really cool place to eat. Yeah, they do chips. We've got jacket potato here before with beans. They do kebabs. We're not eating here today though, but this is a good shout. It's right by Rita. Also, while we're over this way, I thought I'd show you this burger kitchen where you can get all kinds of burgers and chips. Also, right by the burger kitchen, they have woodcutters, bar and grill. We've eaten in here before and they do all kinds of traditional pub food. Okay, we've come here to the roller coaster restaurant. We've been here before, but I don't think we've been here all together. So, oh no. And for those of you who are new that haven't seen our previous video when we were here, there's a surprise for you about how the food gets delivered to your table. Come on.
and we're back outside. Bad news guys, they are fully booked. It's a popular place, we've had this before. Yeah, very popular. If you want to see it though, check out our other vlog where we did go there. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We're just walking through the water park guys and I can actually show you because it's closed now, but it is so cool, look at this. It's got lazy river, it's got hot tub. It's actually got a slide that goes up it like fires yeah. you upwards it goes up there and, and there's then a, comes outside here and they have an outside bit as well where the slides come out yeah we went in there yesterday and astrid absolutely loved it it's her first time as well so guys we're back at our room now a bit disappointed that that uh didn't work out of the roller coaster restaurant we have put ourselves down for the waiting list so if there's cancellation we're gonna go there but in the meantime i realized that we had something that we haven't actually eaten yet because we were eating all day, so we were a bit full to eat this, but I think we can manage it now. Look at the size of it! The smell on that, that's driving me crazy. What's it called? The Homer Donut? Yeah, it's um, a Mega Homer, because they do smaller, normal donut sized versions. I've not had a donut like this ever, I don't think. It's like a donut cake. Can I take the first bite out of it? It would be my pleasure to watch you. What's quite funny, it's the same thickness as a donut, but it's just got wider. This thing weighs a ton as well. Come on, get in there, let's have a go. Okay. Oh my goodness. Is it good? That looks like a good face. Very good. Very good. Do you know what's missing? We need Cup to get the tea. kettle on, yeah. Mm. Tea and donut. Yeah. I don't think we will finish all of this though. This is going to be like multiple sittings. Well, she's I going feel like it. we have to share with the others though. We cannot. No, hold. no, of course we'll share with the others. Maybe mm. we'll cut up some bits and take it to their room. The donut cake. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, seeing all of the amazing different food that we've been eating today, then you're going to love this video up here as well. So go and watch that next. But before you do, make sure you always stay free and just keep rising.